Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com bar oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule. Mana nitrudut alden hiller kartak zachle kayak suprememastertv.com tasha zora schedule. It has been a Buddha long, long, long time already. But then he sacrificed his Buddhahood. So he returned to normal beings again so that he can transmigrate with all beings to help this suffering existence to elevate them, to help them, to show affinity with them so that he can help them in the future. Please keep watching to find out more. Supreme Master Chun Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. Today's episode will be presented in English with subtitles in Arabic, Oluxese, also known as Vietnamese, Bulgarian, Chinese, Czech, English, French, German, Hindi, Hungarian, Indonesian, Japanese, Korean, Malay, Mongolian, Persian, Polish, Portuguese, Punjabi, Romanian, Russian, Spanish, Telugu, and Thai. Namaskar is hello in Bengali. My name is Nayam. The grateful Bangladeshis know that of all the wonders in this world, you are the most unique and beautiful. At the northeast corner of the Indian subcontinent, is the ancient land now known as Bangladesh, situated between India and Myanmar. First settled over 4,000 years ago, the modern state of Bangladesh was formed in 1971. This distinguished country's many mosques and Hindu temples speak of the population's spiritual side. Elegant buildings, such as the 60 Dome Mosque, have been preserved since the 15th century. Bangladesh is also home to 18 national parks and reserves. These have been established with a goal of restoring biodiversity and protecting populations of animals, such as peacocks, black panthers, clouded leopards, and the endangered western hulak gibbon. Bangladeshi culture is very harmonious. The people are courteous and friendly, with a famously welcoming attitude that is loved by visitors. The country also has a rich tradition of song and dance, with music played on unique instruments like the single string ektara, one of the oldest monochord instruments known. It is a delight to briefly introduce exquisite Bangladesh to you, compassionate viewers. We wish for you to bloom with grace wherever life takes you. For decades, Supreme Master Shanghai has illuminated our world with her divine teachings. A fully enlightened master, she imparts the Kuan Yin method of meditation to those desiring to immediately discover the God nature within, to achieve in one lifetime eternal liberation from the cycle of transmigration. 
The Kuan Yin method has been practiced by all enlightened masters, such as the worshipped World Honor One, Shakyamuni Buddha, the worshipped Son of God, Jesus Christ, the venerated master and philosopher Confucius, the venerated Lord Krishna, the venerated master and philosopher Lao Tzu, the venerated Lord Mahavira, the beloved Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, Sri Guru Nanak Dev Ji, and many more. Supreme Master Ching Hai emphasizes that if we always remember God, render selfless service to others, and follow the laws of the universe, we will reach our highest potential as humans and truly understand our purpose on earth. An extraordinarily living example of compassion, she lovingly and regularly sends material and financial assistance to refugees, the homeless, natural disaster victims, and others needing relief. Supreme Master Shanghai respectfully thanks all special individuals, organizations, leaders, and governments for all your genuine, loving, ongoing support. May heaven bless you forevermore. We, the Supreme Master Ching Hai International Association members, are also sincerely grateful for your expressive kindness, wishing you the best. Supreme Master Ching Hai receives love and recognition from various organizations, media, governments, individuals, and many awards, such as the 2006 UC Peace Prize, considered the Noble Peace Prize of the East, the World Spiritual Leadership Award in 1994, the Mahavir Award in 2008, February 22nd and October 25th, both proclaimed as the Supreme Master Ching Hai Day, an honorary citizen of the United States, etc., and has been honored throughout the years with numerous other awards and accolades for her outstanding philanthropic and humanitarian deeds. Etc. 
We apologize for not being able to show many other awards and honors for lack of space and time. Supreme Master Shanghai respectfully thanks all special individuals, organizations, leaders, and governments for all your genuine, loving, ongoing support. May heaven bless you forevermore. We, the Supreme Master Shanghai International Association members, are also sincerely grateful for your expressive kindness. Wishing you the best. A true voice for our beautiful animal friends, Supreme Master Ching Hai promotes the peaceful, loving plant-based diet and envisions, with humanity's awakening to the sacredness of all life, a tranquil and glorious all-vegan world, where animals and people live in respectful harmony. Her initiatives included alternative living flyer distribution, the international vegan restaurants, Loving Hut, vegan food companies, vegan fur products, Supreme Master Television, as well as writing and speaking to influential government and media leaders, participating in televised conferences on climate change, etc. Whether we are aware of it or not, her efforts have had an enormous influence on global awareness of the animal-friendly lifestyle and how this benevolent way can bring lasting peace among nations while saving our planet from climate change and disasters. Supreme Master Ching Hai has traveled worldwide and held discourses with the public and her disciples on a variety of spiritual topics. Today we are blessed to present one of these insightful lectures entitled Buddhist Stories, The King Who Offered His Eyes to the Blind Brahman, Part 4 of 4 on Between Master and Disciples, given in English on August 27, 2015 in France. And the bad king, huh? Bla, bala, bada, bada. <laughs> Heard about that? Come out, you know. Came out and greet the Brahmin. Come back and say, "Have you been able to get the eyes, the eyes of the king?" Say yes, yes. Now I can see everything and see very far, just like him. And the king, uh, pleasant eyes, dead or not? Your Majesty, when they took the eyes from his socket, it's very painful and, and a lot of blood, he lose a lot of blood. You know, blood is soaking all his body, look very, very terrible and frightening. But many uh, a heavenly beings come down and ask for him, and ask him, uh, doubted his intention. So he vowed that uh, if uh, he's sincere, then his eyes return to him. And then it's really like that. His eyes return to him and even, look even better than before. This, uh, uh, the king, after the king, uh, bala, bada, bada, <laughs> a bad, bala, bala, bad king, heard that. Uh, he's so angry. Uh, you know, he's heartbroken. He's really heartbroken, drop dead. Hoa <laughs> guy. Meaning he deserved it. Yes. Uh, after this, that's I say, huh? not the Buddha. Huh? No, no. <laughs> and bad, bad master. Yeah. Maybe it's not your master, say, it's a Maya somewhere here. But he's a bad king, what for he live? He make his people suffer so much, right? And almost lost the country and almost blood will be flowing everywhere because of war. Understand? Yeah. Innocent people will die because of him. So if he die one person, is a good cause, huh? Save millions. Save millions, yeah. Otherwise, a lot of refugees and you know a lot of trouble for a neighboring country as well. Just like, almost like now. Hmm. So the Buddha 
remind Anan first. Anan, you should know. <laughs> you know already. <laughs> you all should know that <laughs> that the pleasant king at that time is no one else but I myself. Yeah. And the Brahman, the ex uh, blind Brahman before is the blind ex the blind the beach you now now that already attained arhat here. Yeah. In the few in the former life through my through my good heart he has gained his eyesight. And in this lifetime not only he regained his eyesight also, but also he has wisdom eye too for me. Yeah. Life after life I also have been doing similar sacrifices so that I can gather, you know, merit like mountains and rivers, yeah, or countless, countless of merit, so that I can become Buddha because of all this gathering merit, so I became Buddha. Therefore, all of you should also be diligent in practicing and aspire, aspire to the um, the highest goal of Buddhahood. Yeah. Everyone heard the Buddha say it thus. Everyone was so touched, so touched with his immense uh, compassion and love. Therefore, their heart open, you know, and sincere. So many people attain different levels of spiritual consciousness. Everyone prostrate to the Buddha and left. The story ends. We should really thank the past masters, monks and nuns and scholars who have taken time to record the Buddha's teaching after the masters and nirvana, and also for the past and present persons, lay or monks or nuns who have really dedicated themselves, sacrificed their time and precious health or under any difficult situation to translate this so that I can read it to you. And we have to thank them. And may they be blessed forever by all the Buddhas, past, present and future. May their merit be immense. May they be liberated forever. Thank you. My God, and the book's not end yet. <laughs> A lot of story, but we stop now, huh? Yes. Okay, and you come and drink, and tomorrow maybe we joke again and read another story again. Less scary tomorrow, okay? Less scary, but even the scare, scary story is also help us to know that whatever we suffer is nothing compared to the Buddha's sacrifice. Such a great courage person. Yeah. Okay, but do you think the Buddha really need all this sacrifice to become Buddha? No? Why? Tell me. Why not? Because uh, he just uh, do something good for others and... Uh, Where is the microphone? Cause everybody wants to listen to your wisdom. <laughs> Why doesn't why the Buddha did not need to do all this in order to become Buddha? If you say no, then why did he do it? Why did he do all this sacrifice? Uh, just just because the Buddha had the uh, unlimited love for all the beings, and when others uh, wanted, he just gave. Not uh, she, uh, he want do this just for Buddhahood. And uh, um, uh, doing this, this kind of things, and uh, this guy can be uh, have the affinity with Buddha, and uh, uh, later he have the chance to be initiated and to be liberated. Correct. So you have heard very well these days. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were sleeping, but 
You listening with your wisdom ears. <laughs> good, good. Bravo. Very good. Can I keep this? Continue drinking later because here I'm shy. I can at home I will go. <laughs> Thank you. Ma. That is correct. The Buddha has done all that, behaved like a normal king, or like an like an animal even, just to saw good affinity seat with other beings. Otherwise, it's not. It looked like he just became the Buddha two thousand some years ago, or almost three thousand years ago. Look like that. It's appeared like that in our history. And he also wanted people to think like that. Mostly he will not explain. Maybe he explained somewhere else, but it's not the first time that he became Buddha. But he did all this appearing as a normal person and then gathering merit and all that. No, he has become Buddha, I don't know, ever since uh, time did not even exist yet. He has been a Buddha a long, long, long time already. But then he sacrificed his Buddhahood. So he returned to normal beings again so that he can transmigrate with all beings to help this suffering existence, to elevate them, to help them, to show affinity with them so that he can help them in the future. Otherwise, no one. No ordinary being can be liberated some, from suffering so so easily like that. Even Buddha has to do so many things like that to to become to become a Buddha again. He was a Buddha, but then he sacrificed Buddhahood to become an ordinary being, even become animals. Therefore, you see. If I read you all the stories about Buddha, when he w- uh, there one of the story in here that he was a uh, uh, Kuda, the animal with the golden, golden fur and emit golden light. What kind of animal would emit golden light? It's it's, a, it's not a normal animals. You see what I mean? Yeah. And then, but in other time, he also appeared as just normal animal too. But then, even then, the heart. It's noble. The behavior is not normal, you see. So you never know. He sacrificed his Buddhahood to roll back into existence, into suffering existence, in order to show affinity with all beings. All Buddhas do that. Therefore, we have to thank all of them, really. We really really are grateful. And we're grateful more to Sekamodi Buddha and Anan, so we can hear all this story. Otherwise, we have many religions, but we don't always hear good story like this, true story, yes. Uh, except today, you know, sometimes you tell me, you tell everybody your experience inside, you know, your own experience, then we could also write it. <laughs> yeah. Thus I have heard. <laughs> the Master Ching Hai was at one time in SMC. <laughs> yeah. And uh, there were 1,200 great assembly, including monks <laughs> and nuns from Korea <laughs> and Taiwan and China, etc., etc. You know what I mean? Mm. It's similar, understand? Similar, except in the Buddha's time, whoever believe in Buddha, their mind are more pure, their faith are unshakable. Because these have a good affinity with the Buddha many lifetime, and at that time the people are still pure. Life are more simple. They don't. It's good to have TV and internet and all that, but then it also occupy a lot of our time, and. Uh, uh, elevate, uh, how say, heighten more our intellectual capacity, and therefore it's a demon somehow, demon, dim, demon, huh? Dim, 
lower our spiritual aspiration some, somewhat. Understand? Also, the, all this uh, poisonous air and water and vegetable and whatever not these, these days are not very conducive to our purity and our sincerity of spirit has been hampered some, somehow. But we do have experiences too. Eh? Yeah. yeah, many people see your master flying everywhere and in different heavens and different situations, helping different people. Yeah, it's similar. Yeah? yeah, except we don't say thus I have heard, because Anan is not here. <laughs> yeah, similar like that. Yes. So the Buddha has not been, uh, has not become Buddha just under the Bodhi tree two thousand three thousand years ago. No, how many? Maybe two five five eight, more or less two 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 thousand and half two thousand five hundred plus years ago. Yes. It's not the first time that he became Buddha. How can a person, you know, even married for many lifetimes, have a lot of merits, become Buddha just like that? No. He already has been a Buddha. He just sacrificed it. Just like a master came from, uh, came from a fifth level, eh? they also sacrificed their comfort and bliss to come down to become a human again, you know, be born and and grow up and went to school and married and have children or not have children, suffering like everybody else, and sick and, you know, get old and all that. Yeah, But they came from the fifth heaven, came down to help us. Yeah? Jesus Christ, Prophet Muhammad, Guru Nanak, uh, Mahavira, Krishna, etc., etc. They all have been from Nirvana. Otherwise, nobody can be enlightened so quickly in one lifetime. Not to such extent, yeah. Except you have the the great master to help you, pushing you up, you know, lifting you. But these are master who has become master. They have been always master. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, thank you very much, all the bodhisattvas. <laughs> we do appreciate. I do appreciate your 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 sacrifice. You have to get up early and go to bed late and miss many of the fun. I appreciate that very much. Every day like that for a month or two months, three months before and now, and you pay. You know your ticket like everybody else. You. <laughs> You know, uh, but you came, you just work, 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 mostly work. I really appreciate that. And I'm glad to have this opportunity to say thank you in this way. Thank you, Master. Everybody appreciate you, I think. <laughs> All the disciples they appreciate you. And if they don't, then um, we don't care. <laughs> okay, huh? Yeah. If you need some of this cake, if you want to go home or you want to eat, it's okay. <laughs> we can buy more. All right? Thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. Any one of you all have blanket and enough yes. for this situation? Yes. Because yes. maybe you didn't prepare, you know? If you need more blanket like this, you tell the, the supplier, okay? They are very cheap, you know? I can buy all for all of you. Whatever you need, okay? Extra. Hmm? Uh, did you hear? Huh? Hello? You can buy, anybody needs something extra because they didn't prepare to stay long. You can buy it for them. Okay? Okay then. Beautiful people. I go now. <laughs> yeah. Give some snacks to my dog. <laughs> Maybe for, so, for the cat. Meow. 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 Enter. Why? Earlier. That's from earlier. Earlier. The woman. As many as can. Up. Oh, okay. Then as many as can. Up. Yeah. We have to prepare. And sometimes it cold. Sometimes it rain. You know. You have to go in. If you have to, come in, okay? You know, stay outside, of course. Small fresh air and everything.
medicine if you need okay and the, the the food the dry food in in the in the cupboard can take and use huh? use them and if uh, need can buy again okay my kitchen or your kitchen no problem ciao thank you for all your love Cheerful viewers, we appreciate your company for today's episode, entitled Buddhist Stories, The King Who Offered His Eyes to the Blind Brahman, Part 4 of 4 on Between Master and Disciples. Coming up next is Selections from the Pathway of Life by Leo Tolstoy, Vegetarian, Volume 1, God, Part 2 of 2 on Words of Wisdom, right after Noteworthy News. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television for more positive programming. May the light of faith in the divine shine brightly within you. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash bmd.